Hello and welcome to Alpha Militaria TV. Thanks for tuning in once again. My name is Richard Saunders. Now, I'm a lucky devil. I get to play with all kinds of rifles that don't belong to me. Um, you know, guns like FXs, Day States, Air Arms, Virox, all of which cost in some cases well over a thousand, even two thousand pounds. And it's very easy to kind of get a little bit blasé and think that all air, all air rifles have to be uh, that kind of uh, cost. The reality is that there are some fantastic rifles at the other end of the, of the fiscal scale. Uh, and I've got one of them here today. Uh, this is an Edgar Brothers uh, Breaker 900X. Um, it's based on the Hatsan uh, Breaker 900X. Uh, and what uh, Edgar Brothers have done is they've enhanced the rifle with the addition of this um, plastic uh, moderator come uh, cocking aid, which really sets the rifle off uh, well. Now this rifle, believe it or not, co uh, believe it or not, costs uh, £89.99, you know, well under £100. And I have to say, it really does look the part. It's a lovely looking rifle, uh, full length, it's 1120mm uh, long, weighs 3.2 kilos, uh, just over £7. Um, and the finish is, is really very good. Um, you, know, you have to keep reminding yourself that this costs less than £90. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through the, the features very quickly, then put it on the range uh, and see how it shoots. Now at the back uh, you've got this ventilated um, recoil pad uh, which has a, a white and a black spacer um, uh, in, in between it and the, the wooden stock. As I say it sets it off really nicely. The stock itself is fully ambidextrous. I suspect it's probably beech, but it's stained to a kind of a walnutty colour. Um, and there's patches of checkering on the uh, on the pistol grip, both sides, quite fine um, uh, checkering. Uh, and the the pistol grip itself is quite uh, is quite sort of steeply raked, but very comfortable for the trigger. Uh, there's no groove. Uh, for a thumbs up position, but there's plenty of room to shoot thumb up or thumb around. Uh, the safety catch is at the back, well away from the trigger, which I like. Uh, it come, it's resettable, uh, comes on automatically when you cock the rifle. Um, now the trigger is the triggers are often a bit of a an Achilles heel for uh, for budget rifles, um, and this one is is two stage. Uh, it's adjustable. I think you probably have to take the stock off to adjust it. Um, but out of the box, you know, it was it was fine. You know, you, like any trigger, it takes a little while to get used to it. But yeah, it's it's great. Again, keep reminding yourself it's less than 90 quick this rifle. There's a dovetail rails um, on the top here to take a scope, and I should say that Edgar Brothers sent me this scope as well. Um, it's a um, I'm not sure what the make is actually, but that is the brand just there. I don't know whether that's E13 or EI3, not quite sure, but it's a 4x40. Um, costs 30 quid, you know, and I have to say, it's great, you know, for, for, for this kind of rifle, it's fantastic. Why would you put a 200 pound scope on a gun like this? Uh, the metal work finish is a, a, a kind of a matte finish, very even, yeah, it's, 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 it's good quality, you know, again, 90 quid. Um, now it has on the back, on the on the, the top of the breech here, uh, open sights. The rear sight has a couple of green fibre optics to help you um, aim through the notch, and that's adjustable for windage and elevation with a little uh, with a couple of dials. And then right at the front, um, the fore sight is a is a red fibre optic. Now cocking the rifle uh, takes just a gentle tap. You know what the um, the cocking stroke is not at all uh, stiff or graunchy, it's actually pretty smooth. And as I say, cocking it automatically sets the, right, uh, the safety catch. Now, even if you push that in and pull the trigger, um, there's a safety mechanism in here which will stop the barrel flying up and trapping any fingers. You know, and for, a, uh, for a gun of this price, that's a really good um, safety feature. Um, now, I always recommend to people even if they are using a rifle with an anti-bear trap and an automatic safety, when you're cocking the rifle, always hold on to the barrel when you're putting the pellet in the breech, um, just for, to, to make doubly sure that you're safe. Now when the rifle locks up, it locks up nice and quietly, nice and solidly, 
there's no discernible movement in the breech at all. Um, everything seems to lock up nice and steady. Right, so with that, let's uh, put a few pellets through it and see how it shoots. Now, as I said before, with any kind of spring rifle, regardless of the, the safety measures that are engineered into it, it's always worth holding onto the barrel while you're cocking the rifle. Um, so that if the, if the anti-bear trap or the safety catch gives way, you've got that extra level of, uh, of security. Make this the last one and we go and see what the group's like. Let's go and take a look. Well, I set the uh, I set the target out at 20 meters, which I think is fair a fair kind of range for a budget rifle like this. And there's probably four or five pellets in a hole there. Uh, this one's a little bit of a flyer over here, but I don't know just over an inch. Most of those within an inch. That's really not bad for a. Uh, a, a 90 pound rifle straight out the box uh, and that's uh, 177 using Air Arms Diablo fill pellets Right, well that is the Edgar Brothers Breaker 900X I have to say, cracking little rifle, really is um, you know, and I keep saying it's for 90 quid for 90 quid it's superb value um, a little bit twangy um, but then again an awful lot of spring rifles are and I've shot uh, springers that cost three, even four times uh, the, the cost of this that have been just as, if not more, uh, more twangy. Uh, the firing cycle is pretty smooth. Uh, it's relatively easy to cock as well. And it's plenty accurate out to 20 yards. Now, I did put this rifle through the, um, through the chronograph and it's advertised as shooting 11.5 foot pounds. Mm. You know, I was able to just about get just under just under 10 foot pounds, which is fine. Um, you know, I would definitely shoot rats with this over 15, 20 yards. I probably wouldn't go um, out beyond that uh, for squirrels, pigeons, uh, or, or certainly not for rabbits. But you know, most people are gonna buy this rifle to shoot a few tin cans in the garden, shoot a few targets, and it's absolutely superb for that. And you know, if you do get a rat underneath the garden shed, this will definitely take care of it. 
Um, so I hope you found that useful. Um, if you did, please, as ever, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to us as well. It really does help us out. And if you'd like more information on this rifle and a whole bunch of other air gunning uh, topics, take a look at our website, which is www.alphamilitaria.com. Thanks for watching.